God. Dan Marshall, five to seven minutes. The future is now-ish. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. As John said, I'm here to talk to you this evening about the potential uses for artificial intelligence, also known as AI. And let me tell you, the possibilities are absolutely thrilling and definitely don't have any potential for us to end up as the vassals of robot overlords. Imagine never having to worry about doing laundry again. With AI, you could simply toss your dirty clothes into a robotic washing machine and let it handle the rest. No more sorting colors from whites or dealing with shrinking your favorite sweater. The AI washing machine has got you covered. Because who really enjoys doing laundry, am I right? And what about cooking dinner? With AI, you could have a personal virtual chef that can assist you in the kitchen. No more burning the roast or undercooking the pasta. Your AI personal chef will ensure that your meal is cooked to perfection every time. Because who wouldn't want a robot to take over the most enjoyable part of their day? And there would never be any opportunity for the robot chef to poison your food. But the uses for AI don't stop there. How about never having to deal with a messy house ever again? With AI-powered robotic vacuum cleaners, you can simply sit back and relax while your robot does all the hard work for you. No more dragging out the heavy vacuum and trying to maneuver it around furniture. The AI vacuum will take care of it all because who wouldn't want to outsource the tedious task of cleaning to a robot? Also, I'm sure giving advanced AI such menial tasks won't ever backfire in any way. My favorite potential use for AI is the virtual personal assistant. No more making appointments or scheduling meetings. Your AI assistant can handle all that for you. And it never gets tired or grumpy like a human assistant might. It's always ready and willing to help you out. Because who wouldn't want to replace their loyal human assistant with a soulless machine that knows all the ins and outs of their personal life? So as you can see, the potential uses for AI are truly endless, from laundry to cooking to cleaning to subjugating humanity and beyond. AI has the potential to make our lives easier and more convenient than ever before, with absolutely no conceivable downsides. Thank you for listening to my incredibly sarcastic presentation. I do have a confession, though. The bulk of the speech up to this point, with the exception of a few edits and additions by your humble human speaker, was actually written by an AI called ChatGPT using the prompt, write me a five minute comedic speech about potential uses for AI. ChatGPT is one of the most advanced AI language models ever created. And I suggest you check it out after our meeting tonight. It was developed by a company called OpenAI and they've released it as free to use for anyone who creates an account on their website. Now, ChatGPT is just one of many AI models that have entered the public consciousness over the last few years. You may have heard of DALL-E or MidJourney. Those are two graphical AI models that can generate photorealistic or artistic images based on text prompts. They're capable of rendering almost any input, even something as ridiculous as a hedgehog smoking a cigar while riding a toaster in outer space. Google is working on a similar type of AI that can output high resolution video instead of still images. Perhaps you've heard of deep fakes, which are a type of AI that can take a series of still photos of a person's face and then overlay it onto the face in an existing video. Have you ever wanted to be the main spy in Mission Impossible, captain the Starship Enterprise, or maybe even be the president of the United States delivering the State of the Union address? Now, thanks to AI, you can. What could possibly go wrong, right? Well, it turns out a lot of things can go wrong. And even when things go right, they might have huge impacts on society at large. There are also many more things that can go right or wrong that we haven't even thought of yet. It's important to note that many advanced neural networks, which are a type of AI model meant to mimic the neuron pathways in a human brain, can output results that surprise even the programmers who created them. 
At some point, our ability to create new AI models may even be taken over by a specialized AI that few, if any, understand. What does this all mean? Realistically, it means that we are one or two election cycles away from a deep fake video being dropped as an October surprise or fake images created by an AI being used for disinformation campaigns. As far as disrupting employment, we're already seeing AI used in entry-level phone jobs that in the recent past would have been done by frontline customer service reps in a call center. Gone are the frustrating days of call trees of IVR systems asking you to press or say a number. They've been replaced by artificial avatars who never tire, never yell back, even at the angriest customer, and never need a break. At some point, probably by the end of this decade, if not sooner, virtually every entry-level job will be done by advanced digital automatons. Eventually, entire professions will be replaced by them. Now, I'm not a prophet, nor am I clairvoyant, but I assure you that this is a matter of when and not if. How will we as a society respond when hundreds of thousands of jobs no longer exist? And we cannot truly trust what we see even with our own eyes. At what point could a highly advanced neural network be considered sentient? These are topics that we'll have to cover in another speech as I am almost out of time tonight, but they're definitely worth thinking about because the need to answer these questions will be here much sooner than you likely expect. The future will be wild. And I, for one, welcome our new robot overlords. Please don't enslave me. Thank you. Excellent. Thank, thank you, Dan. Oh, my goodness.